an open letter to Kim Kardashian and to every other marriage we said did not exist. Kim, on the first day, August 20th, 2011, the world watched as you rocked your head backwards as Chris sunk his lips deep into yours shortly after reiterating I do. Your smoky brown eyes locked onto his ring finger weighing exactly 20.5 carats more than it did before and Kim, we loved you. We gave you a four hour special on E, made you the cover stories of our newspapers, plastered your face across the checkout line of grocery stores, ordered our bridesmaids to take notes and told our daughters, this is what a marriage looks like. Kim, today is October 31st, 72 days after your last kiss and I want you to know that we still love you. We cheered when we saw the ink of your signature dry at the bottom of the divorce papers, gritted our teeth into smiles when we had learned that you had cashed in 18 million hard-earned dollars and laughed when we had learned that your ex-fiance tried to annul a marriage that had never really existed in the first place. Kim, we are a nation of hypocrites. We imagine our grandmothers and grandfathers holding hands at age 82, 5,672 days together, wedding bands attached to fingers like wrinkles, two sons, two daughters, 16 grandchildren, and we tell ourselves this is what a marriage looks like. Kim, today is 1958, and Richard has just kissed Mildred Loving on the lips after exchanging vows underneath the stained glass Virginian church, but this is not a marriage either. This is an uncivil union between a man and property. Black and white America mingling at the altar of God. We are asking ourselves, what is happening to our country? We locked you away in jail. Threw away your wedding rings for nine years. Made the front steps to the Supreme Court your altar. Chief Justice Earl Warren playing the part of priest. This is what history looks like. Kim, today, September 21st, 1996, and President Bill Clinton has just signed the Defense of Marriage Act into power after passing both houses of large majorities. Kim, I want you to know that his signature swept to the right just like yours did on the divorce papers in America is cheering even louder now because they now know that marriage is only between a man and a woman that has been successfully defended against the invasion of homosexuals seeking to destroy the basis of our pure and civil unions. Bill, did you sign it with the same hand that you touched Monica with? This is what hypocrisy looks like. Kim, today is November 6th, 2012. The election judge has already seen my five forms of voter ID. I've already voted for my president because that's the only thing that really matters, right? But at the very bottom, there's a question asking for my decision on the marriage amendment of Minnesota. Kim, in this moment, I am thinking about you. In your Vera Wang wedding dress, $2.4 million ring on finger, cameras flashing like stars, Kim. I'm thinking about our past or fail. This amendment will never affect people like us, will it? This amendment will never stop us from declaring our love under law. This amendment will never challenge our ability to be a good spouse or parent. This amendment will never stop us from owning the fist of our dying lover after hospital hours have closed. This amendment will never affect us God-fearing, white, middle-class, penis into vagina-loving Americans like us, will it? Kim, the pen is trembling in our hands. This is what responsibility looks like. This is what solidarity looks like. This is what love looks like. Vote no. Vote no. Vote.